Welcome to Lapland! This is our last day today. We fly home tomorrow and we are just walking up to get a bus to go to the Husky Centre to go for a day riding huskies. I can't wait. I'm driving. Grace is going to be in the front of me. Daddy's driving with Barkley in the front of him. And we hope they'll get to see the huskies as well. So the Husky Centre is just up here next door to the restaurant with the burger. The main reception for our hotel's here and our apartments are just around the corner on the left. Um, so we're just going to head up here to the centre and meet the guides there. Um, and then I think we'll hop on a little bus that takes us to where the Husky Safari is going to be. When I say seeing the Huskies, obviously we'll see the Huskies, but um, we're hoping that we'll get to actually meet the Huskies as well because the reindeer, you're not allowed to touch the reindeer. Um, so we're hoping that with the Huskies we can. Um, the reason they don't like you touching the reindeer is because um, in between their fur they get pockets of air and when you touch it the pockets of air come out and cold air goes back in so they rather that you don't touch the reindeer because it makes them cold so this is the main main reception for the holiday club just here at the right and it's just across the road from it in this little complex here where the husky center is and i think that's a van waiting to take us on our adventure today so this is it here husky and co is who we're, we've chosen to go with um, and it's a two hour, two to three hour husky experience. So hopefully that'll look like me in a few hours. <laughs> so it's just here. They do lots of different tours. This is what it's like inside. They've got a little changing room and you can get extra clothing if you need. And um, the lady said we should be fine, but there's a place at the actual section as well if we need extra clothing and everyone's just waiting to go. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. I'm guiding the safari. You well? well? Nice to see you all here. I haven't seen. Nice this to see you well. Clients in a, in a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's start so that divide you in. The names of all the dogs. And then around this corner, you can hear them already. They are excited. They're excited to see. So as you saw in that clip, we got extra clothing to put on top of our ski gear. We've got full ski gear underneath, but they give us this overalls almost on top. Snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. Go, 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 yeah! Happy. With everyone so <laughs> to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. Go right, I'm go right. Oh my word, this is amazing. Oh, we're going downhill a little bit, I'll slow down a bit to let the dogs give them a bit of a chance to cool. Now off again, up the hill. Give them a hand by pushing with one foot. Oh, this is so magical. That's Daddy in front. Wow. Might be crazy, but I think you feel it too. Like a vibration right between us with the beauty. All the stars shine much brighter. Is it just your eyes wow, that I lit something so in me? Slow down See a little bit to get to close to daddy. From across the room, my heart is pounding really fast. I don't know what to do. So you get a full instructions of what to do, um, how to steer, and what to do in certain situations. But also throughout the whole course, 
there are people on ski doos and they can come and catch up with you um, and help you and if the dogs get tangled because sometimes the dogs can cross over and get tangled and um, they will come and help you and um, grace is all cozy in here she's got blankets over the top of her she's also been given another suit as well um, just to keep her warm because it's a bit colder obviously when you're not doing the exercise in the back um, but this is the perfect time of day to do it this is sort of late afternoon and um, the sky was just looking beautiful as the sun was starting to set um, and it is just ideal for an activity like this in Lapland <laughs> did a check with Husky and Co what the age of the children need to be for the sledding but when we were there um, Grace and Barclay were nine and seven they were old enough to go in the sled themselves I think any younger than an adult needs to be sitting in the sled with them which obviously reduces it if you have more than one child because you can't have multiple children with you on the sleds so something to look out for and double check what their guidelines are at the time that you're going to be going this was in 2021 um, but they were the perfect age and it meant that Steve and I could both be driving with one child per sled so it was an ideal age um, and they thoroughly enjoyed being driven around this lovely track um, which takes you past the centre all the way around into the wilderness and then back up um, and it gives you lots of terrain there's some hilly bits there's some um, flat bits and as you can see here you stop um, once in a while as well to give yourself a rest because it is actually hard work I should also say that if you're travelling as two adults with no children then they do offer the opportunity to each get a shot of driving so you don't each have to have a sled with no um, partner in the front um, you can take turns so they do half the course and then you swap over so that saves a lot as well rather yeah, yeah, than having a sled each. Oh, okay now. Hey, hike, hey, hike, 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 hike. Good dogs. Good dogs all. Good dogs all. Keep us. Good run. Hike. hike. Look at that view, Grace. Wow. Because the, the team's not, there's two adults in the free the one behind me, and they're not strong enough to pull them. So Daddy's got a strong team that's going quite fast, so they're taking one of his dogs to make it easier for him. I'm gonna help you up the hill here. Yeah. Good dogs. So when you do stop, you get a chance to take some photographs with your Good actual dogs. phone that's in your pocket. But um, I'm videoing this with a GoPro that I've strapped onto my chest, which is if you have one, um, or if you don't have one, I Good highly dogs. recommend getting one for activities like this. Obviously these photos were taken with my phone, um, and then I filmed all this with my phone, but um, on the actual Good course doggies. you can't really take your phone out while you're travelling on the sled because it's dangerous you've got to hold on so the GoPro was a lifesaver. See the harness that I used for the GoPro well, in this clip. On their suits and top of our suits and it was amazing. You did such a good job. Yes you did. Yeah, good doggies. Good doggies. Great job. Yes. What an experience. Oh, amazing. Perfect length as well. Not too long, not too short. They checked up on you every time going round the course as well. Um, really, really good. We wrapped up really warm and the goggles are definitely a great idea. If you have any skiing goggles, take them with you. Um, for the very beginning, at least, it got dark at the end, so put them off at the end. But at the very beginning, definitely. It stops the wind going in your eyes, especially if you're a contact lens wearer as well. It kept your face a little bit warmer, which was good. Uh, the children had on theirs as well. But yeah, we're going to go in and get something hot to get warmed up. You do get a chance at the end to say hi to your dogs um, 
That's your arms. That pulled your sled. Um, and also, later on, you'll see in the video, you get to meet the puppies, the baby puppies. Good doggies. Oh, you're so thick. Oh. Good job. Good job. But before you meet the puppies, we head into this beautiful little cavern. And inside, there's a roaring fire with warm drinks and, of course, cookies. <laughs> I mean, the sledging was amazing, but how cute are these puppies? And you get to spend a good length of time inside playing with them um, in an enclosed area. And as you can see, they can be a little bit naughty. Um, but thankfully, this wasn't my ski seat that they were nibbling, but just adorable. And this is where our love of a dog came from. And we ended up getting a dog um, just six months after this video was taken. Oh. Oh, no, not your hat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Same colour as his or hers. Hi. 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 Hey, you try to chew my, my really no wheel. Oh, no. Hey, he's trying to bite my fingers. <laughs> you actually don't marry that one. So the dogs are obviously kept outside, um, but it's a really good setup. Um, you're in the middle of the, uh, the wilderness and the woods, and obviously you go on your your trail round about this area. That's the hut there that you get your clothes and get changed into. And this is everyone heading back um, to get changed out of the gear, and then we get a bus back from the centre back into the centre of Saraselka where they drop us off um, and highly recommend Husky & Co, they were fantastic. Um, we picked and chose different um, different companies for the, each activity. You can do all your activities with one company but we picked the ones that we thought were the best for that particular activity um, and you can watch any of the other activities we did um, in individual vlogs that I've put on here. If you are heading to Lapland and to Sarasalka in particular, then please don't forget to check out my full video on Lapland which I've linked here.